Hello again YouTube. I'm back again with another hands-on video here on this low CDBXL. <clears throat> what I'm going to do today it's the same day I made that previous video. I'm going to go ahead and take apart I'm going to pull the motor out. I decided hell with it we're just going to pull the motor see what happens and maybe we could find out the reason why this thing's not running first of all <clears throat> let's go ahead to unplug the fuel lines take them off well see there's fuel like crazy going down there look at that take these off <clears throat> okay there fuel lines are off and you see it's still got fuel in the carburetor now we're going to go ahead and loosen up this nut here to hold the <clears throat> to hold the uh, exhaust pipe on to the mount here we'll just undo this real nice and easy there we go I try to get all the tools I need before the video so there's a little bit of a setup time that I had all right so we got that so now we need to spin this around spin this around oops okay and then we have to disconnect the linkages Yep. Oh, that's way over there. Alrighty. Well, maybe we'll have to take off. I gotta move my stand. It's hitting my vice. Okay, let's take off this outer wares. Air filter thing. Oh, boy, I tell you guys. Like I said, my experience with fifth scale uh, hasn't been too good. I mean, I had more fun with the nitros, but I also had a learning curve on the nitros. Okay, there's something right here that I could take off. Yep. I have to look right down there. I have to get the the silver one, I do believe. See, I love having things color coded. Then you know, just loosen that up a little bit, and boom. Just don't want to drop that onto the floor, so I'll never find that. That's for damn sure. There it is. Oh, God, is it dirty now? Yeah. What I'll do is I'll clean where the motor goes back in when I'm all said and done. I'll tell you what, these magnetic trays pretty nice you get them free from Harbor Freight for buying something but you have to have that coupon yeah all right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna loosen up the screws underneath I don't know if that was a 2.5 or a 3 let's take a look oh that's the 2 point Isn't it? That's, yeah, it's this one right here. Alright. This is the roll cage. I call it the roll cage. Alright, got half of it torn apart. See, when I built the stand, I made sure I can. And of course, there it is. <laughs> always drop screws always there's no doubt that will not happen okay so we got to take off this shroud here that's a three three millimeter still have to get some paint to do those bits from DDM 
take this guard off okay so now we have to spin this back around here oh god now all the linkages I gotta take this off yeah it's a pain in the ass when you have everything set right and this will come out and this one here pull it out put the screws back in a little bit see that's how you take the linkages off and that was I try to give you guys the tools you need it is boy I tell you I can't wait to get my glasses looks like the two millimeter yep two millimeter that's what it is for these screws to take your linkages off and adjust these all right so we got that so oh, there's another screw here take the cover off there you go that baby was on there tight this one's kind of a hard one to get at because of this thing right here but no big deal we got it yes we do we got her all right so now this should lift up or is there another screw somewhere you got one two two screws oh yeah we got these here oh yeah how, how am I gonna get this one with that exhaust oh my god what a pain in the ass with that other exhaust the stock I didn't have to worry about that see look at that if I can just it would be nice if I had one was round yeah so I'm gonna strip that yeah stupid exhaust yeah 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 let's see here Yeah, I could just take it off of there. Oh, man. Nothing goes right when you want it to. I wish I had one of those balls. The ball wrench. Allen wrenches. Which I do. But probably not the right size. Like this one right here. Let's see. Yeah, it's definitely too big. What about this one? Too small. How about too big and too small? So we're gonna Yeah. See if I have a Oh my god, it's tough. Oh let's see, what's this one? This is just a regular old Allen wrench. Oh there we go. Let's see if I can get it loosened with this. Oh hell no, I can't get it. Yeah, I'm gonna round that off. Of course, guess what? Drop it on the floor. Oh, for an old guy like me bending over is getting kind of sucky. Okay. Oh fuck. Okay, let's see here. I could bend it. And I'll probably snap it. Yeah, oh, man. Oh, that's a four. That's right. loosen it we always wanted to tighten put it back to tight well, that's how it works okay I don't know if I locked tight to that or not I don't think I did that gasket's all screwed up anyways okay I'll keep these bolts straight here you look at how loose that is
Yeah, that was loose. And filthy. And again, drop shit on the floor. Alright, we're gonna put this. Oh my god, another bolt. Alright. Alright. Yeah, that gasket seen better days. That was the brand new gasket too I bought for the brand new head. Good. It was a good gasket. Look how nasty. Maybe that's where the air leak was getting from. Alright, we'll put that right there. See? I wish I did have a stud there. Alright, then we'll put this over here on this so we can keep things together and you definitely got to wear gloves just look at how nasty your fingers would have been all right now we can get to this here look how simple see i was going to try to keep everything attached and take the whole motor out attached to the exhaust but that's all right there all that for that so let's go ahead and put the screws back in there we got the two small ones we got the two big ones in the back try to, and again you gotta try to keep everything together so you know exactly how to put it back together again yeah she was blowing up pretty good right there from the exhaust Well, that, boy, I don't think that piston ring, holy smokes, I think that piston ring might be sunk in again. See if I can put some light on the subject here. There's the piston ring. No. Oh. Alrighty. It looks like it's not pushed out all the way again but we're gonna see you know you just never know until you get things apart so now I forgot that I zip tied the uh, kill switch wire to the case Tell you what, it's nice having tools. If you don't have tools, man, I, <laughs> it's tough. It's tough to work on things. Yeah, that's going to be a pain in the ass. I might have to wait until I get the motor almost all the way out. Okay, so we'll turn this around like that. Okay, we get the one screw out. And now we just have the motor screws I think there's only two on that now okay so let's find which one it is I think it's a three yep it's a three uh, he could see it turning okay It is so nice to have something for that thing to sit on instead of prying it up, trying to get the bolts out. When you can just do this. Oh my god, that baby is on there. So we might have to break it free. <laughs> okay, was that a. Okay, we have this. Let's turn this around some more so I can come down here and take a look there she is I don't know if you guys can see that or not I'll give it one break here there we go and now I can use the hand tool and these gloves are getting kind of slippery from the oil There's the motor 
screws. I think that might be it. Let's take a look, see if she wiggles. Holy Christ, there's something else holding it. Okay. Oh yeah, there's more screws. Jesus. Let's go back underneath there. Yeah, these big babies. Oh. And again, they're on there tight. Well, that, that motor wasn't going anywhere. She was on her tight. There, I can use this. Now she's loose. I don't know how good you're seeing this because I don't have my phone. It doesn't view while I'm recording. I wish it would. Wow, that baby's on there tight. Yeah, the motor's lifting now. Whew. Live action. <laughs> All right. So now she should come out fairly easy. Except for that zip strip. There it is. Then you gotta watch that. Come on, zip strip. There you are. Go like that. Oh boy, is that dirty. First, I thought it was melded to the crankcase. Well, that thing was hard to get off of there. Did I get it? I'll just pry that off. It's a thin little one. It should come right off. I just don't want to cut that cable. I can help it. I don't even want to nick it. There we go. So we have that taken out. Yeah, wearing a, a hoodie. Because it is freezing out. Okay, so now we have the motor almost completely out. But now we have to mess with this wire here. I don't know if it'll be easier just taking it from the box and fishing it back through. Let's see. I can't remember. It's been a few few months. I think it has been. Yeah, right there. We'll just unplug it right here and fish it through. Might have to take the battery out. Huh. There's a lot involved with these things. And I just made that hole just big enough for that connector too. I had a pain to put it through there. Yeah, it's getting caught. If I have to, I'll break the rest of that case open here. To get that through this is the reason why I don't want to pull this motor out because of all the stuff that's involved and it's hooked to that motor for that kill switch yeah see it's getting caught up right there oh man I know everybody's probably thinking why are you still using that battery? 
Well, because it's still somewhat decent. I just don't want to buy a LiPo battery just yet until I get all these issues fixed, man. I tell you. Yeah, this is a pain. See, I had that plugged just right. I might just go ahead and widen that hole when I have it out. I didn't think I was going to do this again. There we go. Look at just just enough. There. That's how long it takes to take out a motor when you're not too experienced. Alrighty. So the motor's out of the truck. Look how filthy everything is. Yuck. And it's mostly from the gas leaking from the from the cap or something here. Oh man. Yeah. Before I put all that back together, I'll pull the tank and clean off the tank and stuff. Right, now we'll get to the meat and potatoes here. Oh boy. So now let's take off. Yeah, let's take off the pull start, I guess. Proper tool for the job. Take out those same two screws that I was doing in the other video. Take out the pull starter. Well, we can see how dirty the pull starter got inside anyways. We can do that. Check that out. Oh, of course, it's the four. It's the four. So we're going to use... Put the... Right there, we'll get the four out. Okay. That was fairly loose. All right, we'll keep that like that. And then we'll take off pool starter which is hooked up to those nuts see the clutch is working pretty decent so we'll have to loosen up the nuts here yeah that's all you have to do that there turn this around we'll loosen up this side yeah it's nice to have a fail safe switch system on these well that maybe is tight still there it goes Yeah, see, I have the clutch on, so it shouldn't hurt too bad. All right, so now we'll take off. Uh, there's the motor mount. Slide that. Yeah, there is some dirt in there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that magneto, whatever you call it, it's still in good shape. Get all that junk out of there, like so. So what in the world's going on here? Yeah, that. Yeah, at this point, I don't know what to do. I hate to tear all that apart and ruin those gaskets. Well, that piston sleeve still looks good. Yeah, see, I got good compression. 
Let's see if you can hear that. Do you hear that? So, <laughs> I'm like clueless what's going on here. Yeah, I don't think it's a compression issue. Now, could it be because of that gasket was leaking, was loose? I hate to take that top off and go through all that again. Or could it be this part right here? It's not giving enough spark. Oh man, it's so hard to tell. I hate to buy parts, and if it's not that, then you gotta go to the next issue. I hate that. I'll put this pull start over here. Put these two screws up here where they belong. And then these two go with this, and that nut goes with that one. Yeah, I'm looking all around trying to figure what it could be. You know, it's it sucks. It really does. Because once you take that head off, this is going to be out of whack. And you got to set that just right at the gap. And it looks like that gap is really thinned. Oh, wait a minute. What's that? Oh, no. <sighs> okay. Let's get a close look on this here. You see that right there? I hope I get this in the shot. Why is that bent? That's like a $40 item right there just to mess with. And if that's not right, but I'm getting spark. <laughs> ay, 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 ay. And I don't feel like shipping this back to my buddy because it cost me a lot of money to ship it round the trip. So I would love to figure it out myself. Now if I pull that head off, that's going to have to come off. And then all the ceiling that I did is going to be all messed up and probably have to buy new gaskets. Oh boy. I mean, should I buy one of these? I don't know. I found one of these motors, the 23cc, for a hundred and some dollars. And if I went ahead and got this for 40 some, that's half the price of the motor. Might as well get the whole motor for a third of the price. Oh boy, I don't know what to do. It's confusing. I wish I could see the problem. I wish it was leaking or or what. It seems like it has good compression. Especially when I try to turn it over when you hear that popping sound. I mean, that's what good news, you'd think. I mean, it sounds good. But then that ring in there, I don't know. I don't see no scratching on the cylinder walls. Well, I'm stuck to what to do. 
I mean that that all that black right there it's from from that exhaust I don't think it's from that gasket and the only way to find out is pull it all apart and get that all screwed up again I don't know I mean you saw that I got spark in the other video I'll tell you what, let's take this back off again I don't know why I have a lot of problems with this stuff I shouldn't let's take this plastic cover off again Got junk everywhere you know then I thought well see now on this side you can see it where it was leaking and that gasket is wet but it could still be from that but I also feel air from somewhere Good old China stuff. Oh my, my, my. What to do, what to do, what to do. Hey, look at that scraped on the flywheel. Everything's. Uh, well, let's take this off. I wish I was live streaming and you guys were here with me and I can just look to see what you guys are saying while I'm doing this in real time. Okay, let's see if we get sparked by turning this thing. Yeah, probably not, huh? I mean, you can hear it popping like crazy. I don't think I got it. Can go fast enough with it by hand. I mean, what should I do? I don't want to buy anything if I don't need it. <laughs> That's the problem here. I mean, should I get another coil? And if it's not the coil, then I'll have a brand new one stating that it wasn't the coil. Because no matter what, i got to take all this stuff off and ruin all these gaskets. And i got to buy all brand new gaskets again. Man, I don't know what to do. I mean, without all that leaking right there, like I said, it could be from the exhaust. But then why is it wet right here? Way deep down in there. dirty those fins are <laughs> carburetor still holding fuel which is a good thing I guess I know it's not the carburetor because that's brand spanking new it only came loose once and the gasket's still perfect but if I take the head off well that's going to come with the head the carburetor and gasket so I might not have to replace that one but this here, this gapping on this here, you gotta get that just right on that gapping. Boy, it looks like it's almost touching. Do I have any like feeler gauge or I don't have anything to measure that? Let's see if this Loctite package, if I can squeeze that through, if I can squeeze it through. Okay, so yeah, see this one I can squeeze through. Let's see if I can get this in the shot. So I can put it through there. And then I put it through here. I cannot put it through there. So I'm wondering if that gap moved. I don't know. 
Man, I hate to mess with that because putting that back together is going to be a pain to get the adjustment right. Man, that thing is so clean inside there. And it looks like that piston ring's all right, especially if I have that compression like that. With the plug out even. But, but, man, that thing's on there good. So what should I do? And I don't know how to test this. I could put this back on the pool starter and yank it around. Put these two back on. Oh, nope. That one in that plastic casing housing. <sighs> Always a dilemma. Huh. Alrighty, guys. I'm not sure what to do. <sighs> like I said, getting the parts. I can get them, but I don't want to <laughs> because of the money is kind of tight. But it looks like you got to pay to play. And I didn't even play that much with this truck. Could it be the gasket is shot? You know, I, I'm at this point right now. Fuck it. I'm going to pull it all apart. I don't care. It's not running. There's got to be a reason why. Yep. Got to be a reason why here. I'm going to take the head off. If I can't get it back, oh well. Okay, it doesn't look like that was locked tighted in there. Or maybe it was. Who knows? Alright. Take this off, which will eliminate the, uh, the spark. Now I gotta read just that gap. Take all this off part. These two screws will be with this. See, I don't know why that's like that bent up like that. I don't know. Right, what's this? Is this a little plastic cap? Oh yeah, that's right. There's a little plastic cap that goes on one of these. Yep. On both of these, I should say the head. Well, I guess there was some type of uh, uh, thread lock on it. We'll put these together like that. You know, and lose these spacers put this aside god that sucks I have to do all this now I gotta take the head off oh my god chore now we'll just unloose it like that goes the head. Looks fairly clean. Now could this gasket shit to bed? Oh, look at all that oil in there.
So there's that ring. The ring looks all right. See that ring? That's what I had the issue with at the beginning. You know, maybe this gasket did shit to bed. God, I hated to take that apart. That was like, I don't know how I'll explain it. Nerve wracking. It's upsetting. But you have to do this. I mean, I had a hell of a time with this. <laughs> we'll clean this off a little bit. Get all nice and clean. So right now she's soaked. Is there any garbage in that? Yeah, I don't see any garbage. Like no metal shavings or anything. And you can see that piston's like it is brand new. Everything is holding into place. I was worried about this piston ring separating. Boy, that wind's bad. I bet you it's like 30 mile an hour winds at least. Now right, let's wipe all this off where the gasket goes. This is going to be a few days before I can put this back together. Then it'll probably snow. Then I'll be turning the part again anyways. Ugh. I just want to drive the thing. Yeah, look at that. That's... I don't know. I don't think it's supposed to do that. Like the gasket got like it's all melting or something. Look at all that. Come on, get off of there. Get off of there. Man, she is soaked down there. Yeah, what we can do is just put everything back together and pray to God it, it will fire up and then run. Because, like I said, this is all brand new piston and that ring looks really good. Real good. I don't know if I can get a close up on this ring or not. See, it's, it's loose. It's, it comes out like it's supposed to. And I'll even spread it a little bit more. Once I get clean gloves back on, I want to get this this motor somewhat cleaned off. Wish I could spray stuff, but you don't want to spray stuff when when it's open like that. Yeah, it looks like definitely got to get another head gasket. I think this is the one that came with that head. <sighs> Always issues. You don't want to scrape that off with anything. I wish I had like a plastic spatula, a scraper or something plastic. To, I don't see anything nearby. Look at that little burn mark. And that's another thing I was told. I don't know if you can see that right there, that little triangle pointing that way. That indicates exhaust port. So you got to make sure that piston head's on the right side, the right way. Because if it was like that, it's the wrong way. But yeah, it goes right on just like that. Or did I do that wrong already? No. Yep, it goes like this. No, exhaust. Oh my god, it's like that. There we go. Yeah, look how dirty and filthy that is. Maybe I'll spray that down with some type of cleaner. Man, I wish I could get this cleaner. I'll just keep rubbing at it, I guess.
I gotta have something that's you know, like a credit card or something. I don't want to pull out my credit card. Oh, what kind of mess do I have over here? I, got a, I don't want that spatch or the scraper. I need something plastic. See anything plastic? Oh. Let's get one of these. Uh, no. No. Ah. <laughs> yeah, I know it's painful to watch this, but we're in a 46 minute range. Alrighty guys, I'm going to end it right here. I'm getting too far in. But I just want to show you the dilemma I'm at. And uh, what i got to do is it looks like i got to order some gaskets. Thanks for watching. Talk to you again real soon.